Hey YouTube, for you guys that are replacing oil pump on a Chevy, uh, this particular one is a 2007 Tahoe. It could work in a Suburban or Silverado GMC. Um, but in my case, I'm doing a 07 Tahoe. Uh, oil pump I'm using is a high performance, high flow from Melling part. 10355 uh, I believe if you have the older Chevys like 2002 3 I think it I think it starts like at 99 uh, the part number should be 12296 but don't quote me on that do your research first uh, from what I know you're supposed to take off the oil pump in order to replace the oil pump but I actually found a little trick where you don't have to uh, it's a little a little complicated but it's doable what you have to do is uh, you gotta take once you take off the all the accessories in the front or well, mainly the oil the uh, water pump water pump belt um, then the timing cover then you'll see the oil pump right there and uh, you got four bolts holding the oil pump itself one two three and four so once you have that uh, well actually before you take off these bolts I would take off the cover there's a cover in here. It looks just like here. I'll show you. So that's the cover. Okay, those are the bolts. And uh, go ahead and take off this uh, these gears right here. Uh, and then once you do that, once you do that, here comes the tricky hard part. Oh, let's see. I have to go on the bottom so I can show you a little better but before I do that let me explain to you what it is so right here on the oil pump there's a pickup tube it connects right in here and I know it has two holes but even from factory they're only using one hole which is this bottom one is the hardest one to get to now let me get underneath the car and I'll show you what I'm talking about bear with me okay all right so there is a pickup tube I was talking about and the bolt is gonna be right in there I already took mines off uh, because I'm doing this by myself and it's kind of hard to record and trying to remove that bolt but you're able to put a wrench in there okay you're able to put a wrench in there and get it out as far as you can once once it's almost out get some small needle nose get some small needle nose and uh, finish removing the the bolt and uh, you just gotta be careful not to drop it what I did is I, I had one of those magnet extenders and I put it right underneath the, the water pump so that way if it does fall I would be able to catch it so once you remove that bolt all you gotta do is get a little little pry bar a little screwdriver and you're gonna have to pop out the, the oil pump just like that like I said mine's was already taken out you might have to play with it a little bit but it's doable as you can see I'm able to remove mine then there it is there's the pickup tube now here's a sorry for the 
video is a little messed up here, but now nah, here comes the other tricky part. What do you gotta do when you put it in? Of course, you gotta take off the front cover like I talked about and take off the gear. Uh, but before you put it in, there's this piece right here. Okay. You're gonna have to turn it around. Okay, turn this around. So that way the hole is over here. And that way you're able to put it in because if not, it's going to be really hard but in order for you to turn this piece there is uh, there's not a lot of room to show you guys but right underneath here there should be a little tab that's holding preventing this piece from turning um, I've used a little angle grinder have you sawzall anything you have just so you could cut that little tab off and be able to uh, turn this so that way this hole is over here like I said it's it's kind of hard to uh, record this because I'm underneath the car and everything but Hopefully when you're once you're working on it, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about So once you're I've done this before. Okay, so I know it's doable. It's really hard uh, I mean you gotta you gotta pretty much know what you're doing. So Like I said, I've done this before many times at least a dozen times um, The older models are a little bit different, but ultimately you gotta do the same thing you gotta turn this just this little plate that bolts up to the oil pump so you got to turn that so it'll be up here so you'll so once you put the new pump you'll be able to put the bolt in and it'll be a lot easier and of course the the oil pump comes with a new seal make sure you replace that with the correct one it comes with instructions and everything so once you put the pump on uh, once you put the pump on, let me show you what you should do. Let me get out of here. Once you put the new pump in, of course, like I said, you gotta take all these, these bolts out. Um, the factory one came with, with 10 millimeters, but this one comes with torque. Uh, so once you remove uh, this cover make sure after you install this piece after you ins install this piece go ahead and put your gears back on um, I don't think there's a way uh, I mean it goes it has to go in a certain way you just got to turn it and eventually it'll go there but uh, I would say that before you put the gears in get like some uh, gear oil and uh, lube it up you know throw throw some uh, gear oil inside of here that way when it starts it's a dry start it it's uh, somehow lubricated at initial start um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, I've done this without taking the oil pan out. Um, if your oil pan is leaking, which is a real common thing, then it's not a bad idea. But in this case, uh, the oil pan gasket is good. And uh, I got the old oil pump, which is uh, I'm going to replace with the new one. And I did it all without taking the oil pan off. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, it's, 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 it's a hard process, so if you're not ready for a couple hours of work, then I wouldn't try it, but if you're pretty handy, got some tools, um, the only specialty tool you would need, um, would be, uh, 
pulley puller or the, the harmonic balancer puller which is a, a three jaw type of uh, tool uh, other than that I don't think you need any other special tool uh, so yeah if you have any questions uh, just let me know all right thanks for watching guys hey guys so I actually gave you a little bit of wrong information and these newer ones that little um, on the pickup tube that little bracket with the hole for the it goes right here on this uh, to hold the pickup to the pump on these newer ones it's actually like welded on there so you can't spin it it was actually in the older ones I don't know how far but in this particular one I was looking at it and uh, actually you can't spin it so the way to put it on would be to get a, a washer or a bolt um, and the pickup tube it'll have that that little bracket that goes around here so once you put this bolt on it'll actually hold it in place okay it'll actually hold it in place and that's the way you do that one on this 2007 uh, like I said I've done it on the older ones and you have to on the pickup tube there's a there's a, like a little uh, a tab and it's welded onto the tube and it's preventing the little bracket from spinning with the hole that's here to this location okay so that was uh, my mistake uh, this is a 2007 like I said uh, maybe on the older ones I don't know exactly what years but uh, if you're not able to move it then uh, you would you would have to put a washer on it or or a bolt with a washer uh, if, if you're able to move it a little bit and you you'll be able to see that little tab I'm talking about then you would have to uh, grind it off just make sure you don't go too deep because if you hit the pickup tube then then that'll be a pretty big problem right there so yeah that's a little update there thank you and uh, sorry again for that misunderstanding okay guys so this is what I was talking about okay on the pump I got my new pump all right and that's what I was talking about right there you see the bolt with the little washer holding the the pickup tube hopefully you could see it it's not too dark but this right here okay this upper piece right here is is the piece that actually bolts up to the pump and the hole the factory holes on this side I don't have one here so that's why I put the bolt with the washer and it's holding up this piece so it won't come off and it'll still hold the pressure so that's that's what I was that's what I meant when I was talking about that if you didn't understand so I got the pump in uh, so now I gotta put the, the gears back inside like I said lube them up a little bit before you put them on put your cover and that's it put everything back together put need timing cover gaskets uh, water pump gaskets uh, whatever you whatever you're gonna do right there so uh, that's it thank you again